Alex, okay, coach, come here. I'm here, and I'm like this, Get your hands on me, nope. I got good balance. I can do some things and get out of it, right? If I'm up in here, get a hold of me. Now he's got me. Four, right? Four is everything. So good balance. And you know, you think, wow, why is he wanting so far? Well, because when I when I push off, I don't want this. Or I don't want this. Over exaggerate the stance until it becomes second nature to them. Does that make sense? Muscle memory, teach them. Get out here. I'm, I'm, this is a runner stand. This is a sprinter stand. They're sprinters. So I get them here, and boom, I can go. Or I can go around you, I can do my thing. Right? And I've got strength. So that's the stance. That's their balance. That's their core. Hands to fight. So coach here. If I'm here, right? Boom, he gets his hands on me. I'm here, and I'm moving around. Okay? I'm moving around. There's some karate and stuff. You know, all that. So, I coached from TCU, Tommy, you had. Coach Fellows, I'll never forget, Bob Fellows. He was teaching his linemen all these different kind of moves on back. Yeah, we're Kung Fu now. Bruce Lee's, right? That's crazy. So, teach him that. Just get him right here. Let's get, if you get in your stance, let's get you in front of Go, boom, 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 boom. Just play. Just do that. They'll have fun with it. Go, coach, we're going to do karate again. Yeah, we'll do some karate. You guys ain't worth it. <laughs> you <get a> good <laughs> really karate? Um, so that, that's that, and then pat the ball, because once I catch the ball, pat, what's gonna happen? Once I catch it here, and I turn to coach, he's gonna tackle me, right? So if I have a habit of patting that ball, as soon as I turn, and he's on, boom, I'm patting the ball. I got both hands on the ball, right? If I go like this, and now he's on to me, and I'm not patting the ball, boom. Strip it or whatever. So why why you'll see them patting everything? Somebody asked me, why do they pat the ball? Because I mean, as soon as I, boom, I've been waiting for contact. And you know you can do it. Safety, cornerback, somebody, right? So let's see the pat. So it's real simple. We'll start off with this. I incorporate everything in movement. That comes an issue. When do you see wide receivers? standing like this, other than the water cooler hanging out, looking pretty in front of all the girls and all that stuff, right? Getting TV time, linemen don't get that. These guys do, so you know, you want to keep them moving. That's the thing too. Okay, here we go, Cal. Just straight at me. I don't move, he comes ready to go. Just do it simple. I'm not out to kill him. You gotta have success, ready? Go. Okay, make sure you do the other hand next time, ready? Go. I did the right hand. All right, good. So they all did right hand. Now we're going left. Ready? Go. 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 Good, good. Tap, tap. So they're tapping, right? They're tapping. They're making sure that they can secure it. That's the worst thing. Right? You know, catch the ball. Great catch. Boom. And then. Boom. Ah. Just like that. So now we're going to do the other end. Now we're going to show you the angles with the same type of drill. And this is for young kids, this is great because they're going on a 45 degree angle now. Ready? Go. Tap. Okay, because he's going to. What route does that simulate? Everybody Slant. runs it. Slant. Slant. Ready? Go. Yo, what kind of move is that? I love it. Go. Good, put it away. There you go. Good. Ready? Go. Good, good, good. And upfield. Good, good. Okay, so I don't I move, they stay there, they hand me the ball. I usually have three balls in there and then they hand it to me. And if I don't have the ball, they're waiting for me to give it to them. They're the last one line anyway, right? Coaches don't need to be working that hard, let them work. They can stand there. I don't need balls all over the place. Waste time. Ready? Go. I told you guys, if you saw me in my session over there, I work fast, right? This is what we do. I can talk to Go. Good, Joe. Had it. Thank you. Ready? Go. Yep. Field. Ricky, straight there, buddy. Angle, angle, angle. Ready? Go. 
Good. Pat, Pat, there you go. Yeah. All right, good. So now they padded, padded, padded. Now they're going to do 45. Excuse me. 90. 90 now, right? Boom, boom, boom. Now they're going to go here. They're going to cut. Throttle just a bit. Once they get there, you're going to make a cut this way and pat the ball. Okay? Pat the ball as you come up to it. Ready to go. Good, good. Stay. Expecting contact. Go. Nope. Uh, don't break yourself. Make sure you ride it down the cut. Ready? Go. Good. Nice feet. Good. 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 Okay, we'll go the other. We'll go this way now. See, I'm moving. They're not. We're getting both sides. Go. Go. Cut. Cut. Go. 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 All right. Now, by chance, they drop the ball. I don't penalize them five push. So I give them one. Next time. Next time. No use wasting my time. Thank you. You never did anything to me. You work. You say LA. You can't keep me. I go keep somebody. <laughs> Bottom line is you don't want that. You want these kids. You know. To understand they made a mistake, but it's not that, it's not the end of the world. How many other catches are you going to get, right? So if you drop some one push, it's good enough. We keep moving forward. So trying to beat them, so it's up worse than you can beat them. All right, Kyle, what are we doing next, big guy? Yes. He's going to come at me, and I'm going to redirect him one side or the other. Right now, I'll do it to his left side, and he's going to have to come off line to get the ball. Another soft hand. Ready, go. You got to come off line to get it. Pat. Ready, go. Come get the ball, Joe. I know you're tired. Ready, go. Keep coming hard at me. I know you're tired. Ready, go. Good. Put it in. Good. You go, ready? Go. Soft hands. You gotta create soft hands. These kids are stone hands because everybody's throwing it 100 miles an hour. Have I thrown the ball really hard at these kids? No. Why? Because I'm teaching them how to soft hand it to see it. You, know, you just can't start throwing it hard at them, even with your little quarterbacks, because it doesn't do you any good. I got a higher completion rate right now. <laughs> And if I did, if I was throwing it really hard at it, I want high completion rate. Go. Go. I'm messing with it. Sorry. Go. Usually I go one side. They did left side the last time. Now they're doing right. Ready? Go. Nice catch. There you go. Got it. Now, third part of that little progression is to make them go offline wherever I throw the ball. Okay. So here we go. Ready? Good feet. Go! Good, you gotta find it. You gotta find it, right? Ready? Go! Get it, Joe, get it! Get up! Go! Good, they pat! <laughs> you don't learn this high school's next year, but. Ready? Go! Good. Oh, dude, lost your concentration. Get this up, this is all right, awesome. So now we've done. Now we're gonna do. I, I got in my progression. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna. Another fun thing with soft hands is then picking up the ball. Right. Ready? Full speed, pick it up. Okay. I'm ball movement. And my voice is strong. So. Ball movement. Get balanced. Widen your base just a little bit. No, the other part of it. Go this way. There you go, Joe. Good. Now, right now these guys are not full speed because they've gone through how many sessions with you guys think about it. So they're going hard. Ready? Go. Good. Still got energy. And feet. Go. Okay, so 
at both sides. <laughs> Fanny Roosters, man. Bitches. Here we go. All right. Now, I did one side, I'm going to do the other, okay? But, so I can move into other drills for you. I'm just going to get on her back. This is a fun one. Go. Yeah. Settle and come out, come to me to get the ball. Ready? Go. Good. Back to the next guy. Go. Good. He's just gonna come back for the ball, right? Go. Settle down. Slow down a little bit. Slow down. We're not going on the race here. Go. Slow down. I move, they stay. Usually they'll stay over here and we'll just flip it back. Ready? Go! Settle more, settle guys. Ready? Go! Settle, settle. Good, I want you to settle more. Eureka, did you see what he just did? Ready? Go! Square up and settle, just like you do in basketball. Ready? Go! Good, settle, settle, settle. All right, so now we've done that. Now they're gonna do the high knee, come back. Progressing into the, the, the curl cut. So here we go. Ready, go. Good. I'll take off, okay? Wait. It's okay, we can go do that. They need to see it, we, can, we keep doing that. Usually it comes back and nothing will, but now I'm gonna have one. Go! Now, I want you guys to really drop more, right? Once you come get that ball for me, really sink the hip, drop the drop step and go just like a basketball. Here we go. Go! Come get it. Did you get hit in the nose? I'm going to beat you up. Here we go. Go! Nope. Uh, the other way, the other way, inside. Here we go. I know you're tired, bud, but I bet I'm correct. Ready? Go! The other way. Inside. No, you're fine, but you got to cut. Go! Okay, now you guys want to turn around like that. Listen. Calvin, watch this. This is hard again, it's not natural for you. So as I'm here, okay, boom, boom, here, settle, get the ball, and then boom, this way. Turn inside, okay? Turn inside, not outside. We'll turn outside in a second. Here we go. Ready? Go. Settle. Good, good, good. Ball left hand. All right, now, what they're gonna do is they're gonna do this to that thing there, and then cut back this way. And then they're gonna, once they cut here, they're gonna spin out, okay? So they're gonna spin back to the sideline. So that is the sideline. Cows, you get rebounded, you can come one, two, three, boom, here, right? And then spin out towards this way, right? Here we go. High knees to there. And your last three, boom, boom, boom. Go. Good, 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 up the field. That's the hitch. Now we're simulating hitch without even having to throw the ball hard. Now when you get your quarterbacks with you, then you guys can throw all your routes. They've done a lot of simulations there. Ready? Let's go. Go. High knees. Oh, 
High knees, drop the hips, and come back. Go. Good. Catch the ball before you take off. I know what you want to do. That's good. Here we go. And I can always get back further. Ready? Go. Good. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. So I throw it. And I usually let the delay a little bit longer than I'm doing now. But force them to keep coming back. Ready? Go. Good, good, good. We've done that. So you can do that to both sides, right? Both sides. And that's pretty much the progression that I use with my receivers. I might do a few other things, but these guys are really, really tired right now. They're not going to catch anymore than they already are. But that, that is the progression in that shot. You do that every day, I guarantee. These guys, their their um, fundamentals got a lot better than when we first started the first group. Because they've had probably 200 reps at it right now. Imagine you guys get to do that with your kids. They should be doing it now. If you have kids at home, take some of these drills and start doing them. It's all about the soft hands. Eventually, you'll be able to get, go ahead and get a drink, guys. Thanks, huh? <laughs> so eventually, you can get out there and throw the ball harder to them, but you know, you're not sure of their catching ability. And, and think about it, they got moving parts going on here. So if you start teaching moving parts right away, you're gonna get acclimated to that moving part and being able to cut and do things. One of them's a lineman, the other two are running backs. There's only one true receiver there, and that was the kid in the dark shirt, on here, Kyle. He's a true receiver. The other guys play running back, so they're not catching the ball like him. But now they just showed they could be a receiver, maybe a slot back receiver. So I would put your running backs out there, everybody can just do a drill to see who can catch. I'm gonna teach them what soft hand, soft hand. No, that's important. The other thing I would do with the receivers, have them play kits like this for themselves. Okay, triangle, you guys know that, right? So, any questions on that? You got any drills for helping kids run precise cuts rather than just rounding them off and just what, I just just what you did right there? The last three steps of the routes are the critical part. What happens, they want to run and they go like this. Emphasize the last two steps. Start from here and go. One, two, three, boom, cut back. Put a little cone there, a little flat cone. One, two, three, boom. Make that count. One, two, three, boom, cut. Throw the ball. One, two, three, cut. Throw the ball. One, two, three, cut, 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 right? Thank you. Does that make sense? Yeah. That drill tape that I have, if anybody's 